On the payment journal, we can use the suggest vendor payments badge job to get Business Central to suggest lines for payment. The lines that are suggested are based on conditions like payments due soon or payments where a discount is available if paid now. We can get to the uh, suggestion job, which is suggest vendor payments by going to prepare and suggest vendor payments. When we use the suggestion job to create these payment lines, we can set two fields to ensure the generated lines make use of the due date to calculate the posting date. We will need to show more in order to see them. You can see that I've done that here already. And the fields that I'm referring to are the calculate posting date from applies to document date, which then enables the applies to document due date offset. Enabling the first field enables the second, and we can insert a date formula into the second field. Uh, for example, a negative 2D would instruct Business Central to use a posting date that is two days before the due date of the ledger entry. If the posting date that is calculated is in the past, then the posting date is moved to the work date and a warning is given to notify the user. We can manually create payment lines and use the due date to calculate the posting date. After applying the vendor ledger entries to the line, we can use the calculate posting date function here to update the posting date on the journal line with the due date of the invoice that we've applied this line to. So looking at back at the suggest vendor payments batch job, we can see a number of options and fields available for configuration. In the options tab that we have here, we have the last payment date, first of all, uh, which is where we specify the latest payment date on the vendor ledger entries that can be included in this run of the batch job. Entries that have a due date or a payment discount date before or on the date specified here will be included. If the date is earlier than the system date, Business Central will show a warning. We have check other journal batches, which will tell Business Central whether it should exclude payments included in another journal batch. This helps to avoid duplicate payments that you may not be aware of. This is especially useful for companies that make use of a lot of batches simultaneously. We have summarized per vendor, which when selected, the batch job will suggest one line for each individual vendor for each currency that the vendor has ledger entries in. Unselected Business Central will suggest an individual line per invoice. We have our posting date, which is used to specify the posting date that will appear on the lines of the journal that the batch job generates. We have our starting document number. This is usually populated with the next available number in the associated number series if this is set up. Uh, this can also be filled in manually and Business Central will increment this per new line. We also have our balancing accounts at the where we specify which uh, bank account in this particular example will be used to make these payments to balance the values too. After all this, we then have our vendor tab where we can filter by particular vendors and not entering any conditions here, we'll consider all vendors. So I'll run this one time with the summarize by vendor disabled and we should see Business Central generate a few entries. I'll enter starting document number as well. And we can see a number of entries here for a number of different vendors. And if I then delete these lines and run this oh, once more, but this time with summarize per vendor on, you may notice the vendor 10,000 has only one entry where it had two before.